What's up everyone, welcome back to Switchcraft and it's a great day to be a gamer. As many of you know, we're getting a special version of Dragon Quest XI on the Nintendo Switch called Dragon Quest XI S. And we have details and it looks amazing. Sorry PlayStation. A few days ago Square Enix had a special little presser in Japan where they talked specifically about this new game finally being ported to the Switch. We've waited for quite a while for this awesome RPG to make its way to Nintendo's handheld and it was another case of we started development of this game before we even knew about the Switch. These types of games are getting fewer and further between and this was one of the last best games that was holding out. As a reward for our patience we have some extra goodies and I'm going to go over all of them today and share and compare screenshots looking at the Switch versus the PS4. Up first, you can clearly see that we don't have to sacrifice much to be able to take this game anywhere on the Switch versus being tethered to a TV on the PS4. At first glance, there is hardly any difference at all. If you look closely though, you can see that the PlayStation is able to have a more sophisticated lighting pattern, and images in the background are a little sharper. The odd detail looks a little crisper on the PS4, but other than that, they're pretty close. Full disclosure here folks, games like this and screenshots probably make this look a little closer than it is than when we actually get our hands on it. Slower paced games like RPGs just aren't as demanding and we'll be able to tell a little more accurately how they stack up when things are actually moving and getting crazy on screen. But with that being said, I already know there's going to be two types of comments. Nintendo fans saying that it's barely noticeable and then PlayStation fans saying that it looks like garbage and that we need to get our eyes checked. I'm ready for it. But let's take a look at another comparison. Here, you can see in an outdoor shot that the better lighting effects are more noticeable and it makes the whole image look a little crisper. You really notice it on detailed objects like hair and the buildings and this roof in particular in the background. But considering we get to play this game anywhere, anytime, it would already be worth the trade-off. But there's more. The Switch version of Dragon Quest is going to be packed with a bunch of extra goodies that just weren't included on the PS4 version. The Switch exclusive will have over 200 characters voiced over, will have the optional Japanese voiceovers, and more closely related to the story, you'll now be able to have a wide variety of people you'll be able to marry, yep, even some dudes. While technically it won't be marriage according to the game's producer, but you'll still get to live with them. I guess love wins in the end on Nintendo. And if that wasn't enough, we have another special announcement coming from Square on January 1st, going over several more features that'll make their way on this Switch exclusive version. It looks like this game is going to be a beast of a title, that if you were holding out, knowing it'll eventually make its way on the Switch, your patience will be rewarded. But I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments if you think that the slight visual downgrade, having to wait this long to play, is worth the extra features and portability of having it on the Switch. I'm really curious to see what the people think, but regardless of what's said, it's definitely a title I'm picking up day one, as I'm firm in the belief that the Switch really is the best way to play RPGs. Stay tuned for more info when we get that January 1st announcement. It's a great day to be a gamer. Switchcraft out.